You wanna go to Banff? <laughs> if you want to visit Banff National Park and you have time constraints or budget constraints, then this video is for you. And if you aren't familiar with Banff, then keep watching so you can see one of the most beautiful places I've ever been to. Now to preface this, Banff has two peak seasons, one being July and August, and the other being December and January for ski season. I was in Banff in August, so right during peak season, when everything near Banff and Canmore is really expensive. The lower end of price range I saw was $1,200 to $2,000 US for a week stay. Airbnbs, hotels, everything I looked at. Now split that with a few people, maybe that's not too bad, but I was doing this on my own. So I ended up finding an Airbnb in Cochrane, which is about an hour to the entrance of Banff and like an hour and a half-ish to Lake Louise, which getting to Lake Louise was my whole original goal here. But this Airbnb had everything I needed and was a fraction of the cost at $491 for the entire week. So Cochrane it was. Because of the distance, I knew I would only end up going to Banff for one day. When I was there, again, peak season in August, I was told that the road up to Lake Louise and Moraine Lake closes down by like four in the morning. And basically this is because the parking lots for the lakes are so small and people arrive really early to try and make sunrise. And once the parking lot is full, there's no room to wait for a spot. So the park just closes down the road for personal vehicles. And actually, as of today, their website says as of 2023, the road to Moraine Lake is closed to personal cars completely year round. All of this to say, what you need to know if you want to visit Banff is that they have an amazing shuttle system and it only costs around $8 US. The shuttle station has a huge parking lot where you park for free and then multiple shuttles are just running constantly throughout the day, going from the starting point to Moraine Lake and to Lake Louise, so you can get on and off as you want. And I was so excited to learn that as long as your dog is in a carrier that can fit on your lap, they can ride the shuttle too. So Noodles was able to come with me. Prior to purchasing my ticket for the shuttle, I actually hadn't heard of Moraine Lake. I had only heard of Lake Louise. I realized once I got to Moraine Lake that I had seen the pictures before. I just didn't realize that there was more than one lake and that I wasn't looking at pictures of Lake Louise. I didn't really do any hiking at Moraine because, and I could totally be wrong about this, but from what I saw, it seemed like the hiking would be more secluded and less crowded, which usually I would say is great. But Banff has bears and I just wasn't prepared to encounter a bear by myself. So I stayed more in the open near other people and just kind of relaxed and sat in the peace and quiet, taking in the beautiful view. Once I was ready to move on, I jumped back on the shuttle to go to Lake Louise. Lake Louise definitely felt way more crowded in my personal opinion. Of course, there were a ton of people at Moraine too, but it just felt like there were more options of spreading out at Moraine and still having an amazing view of the lake. Where Lake Louise, I don't know why I didn't take a video of this, but when I first got to Lake Louise, you couldn't even get to the edge of the lake because it was just crowds and crowds of people. You can kind of see in these pictures here, I'm like squeezing into an open space in between people. And this was further down from the really crowded area. There is a big hotel right on the lake here. So I think in general that probably adds to the crowd. I mean, I know Moraine has some lodging too, and there was a restaurant and gift shop right by Moraine, but I don't know, Louise definitely felt more crowded. But because of that, I also felt more comfortable hiking. So I did do a little bit of that at Louise. It started being less and less people the further I got out and I definitely saw bear poop on the trail. So I'm turning around. These two lakes are just so gorgeous. It was only a few years ago that I even learned that Banff existed, but from the moment I saw pictures of these lakes, it was instantly so high on my bucket list. So I'm so happy I was able to go. I would love to go back again and spend more time there, but maybe when I have some friends to split the bill with. But that is all. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing and liking this video and I'll see you next time. Bye.